Welcome to our 30-day prayer challenge. Today we are in the day number 28. Let us start. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God is our light and our salvation, our refuge and our stronghold. From the raising of the sun to its setting, we praise your name, O God. For with you is the fountain of life, and in your light we see life. A reading from Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 11. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. From a treatise by Saint Cyprian. Daily bread may be understood both spiritually and simply, because both meanings help us to understand salvation. For Christ is the bread of life, and this bread is not the bread of all, but it is our bread. And as we say our Father, because he is the Father of those who understand and believe, so do we say our bread, because Christ is the bread of us, who touch his body. Now we ask that this bread be given to us today. Let's be who are in Christ and receive his Eucharistic daily as the food of salvation should be separated from Christ's body through some grave offense that prohibits us from receiving the heavenly bread. For according to his words, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. Let us pray. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our bishops, Elizabeth and Leila, our pastors, Albert and Barinia, for all servants of the church, and for all the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our public servants, for the government, and those who protect us, that they may be upheld and strengthened in every good deed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who work to bring peace, justice, health, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who bring offerings, those who do good works in this congregation, those who toil, those who sing, and all the people here present who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, 
and for peaceful times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for our deliverance and for all affliction, wraps, danger, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all the saints, let us commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ, our Lord. To you, O Lord. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peace of God, which surpasses all our understanding, Keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.